Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Randall's Rants. I wasn't sure if I was actually going to relax and let everything set in and wait a day to do this video, but I decided, you know, I just needed something to say. And um, as many of you know, on May 4th, 2017, uh, the GOP basically decided that they were going to sentence everybody who has a pre-existing condition to a life of torment and torture. Um, I'm one of those people. I have neurofibromatosis is a bone disease, which has caused underdevelopment in this eye and various other medical issues that I'm going to have to live with the rest of my life. Um, you know, and I'm not going to get into my insurance issues because I actually don't get it through my job. I actually have to pay out of pocket for my insurance. And just knowing now that, um, that people like me, um, that we're basically at the mercy of big insurance right now. Um, there's some 24 million people like me who are going to lose their, their coverage. Um, and, and it just, just drives me I just can't figure this out we're supposed to live in the richest greatest nation um, we have wealth we claim to cherish life and yet we do stuff like this you know it's just something that this doesn't there's a disconnect there and I can't figure out what it is how Paul Ryan and, and Donald Trump could happily stand there and cheer this bill. Be proud they're taking away health care from 24 million people. Be proud of the fact that women, when they give birth, a lot of their prenatal care, a lot of their stuff is no longer going to be covered. And that they're putting so much of a burden on people pre-existing, saying that maybe they should pay more because they've got these diseases or they've got these these issues. You know, I guess my point is, how can we sit here and decry people like Assad who use chemical weapons on their citizens and, and say all life is sacred? And just go that whole nine yards when right now we have people who are elected who are cheering and happy over the fact that they stripped 24 million people out of their health care. You know, I, I, I guess it's just a great hypocrisy of this country. You know, Obamacare, it had its flaws, yeah. It had its flaws. But instead of trying to fix it, bring the cost down, keep people with health care, the GOP sided with the insurance companies. Decided that profits were better than healthy citizens. And that's what this boils down to. Okay? That's what all this boils down to. They decided that profits were better than healthy citizens. So you're going to have maybe a generation of people who have to suffer unless something is done quick. Unless we can get people in office that actually give a rat's ass about all of us that have pre-existing conditions. You know, I've never said these words, but uh, today I'm literally ashamed to be an American. Because of the antics of Paul Ryan and Donald Trump and the GOP in general. I am legitimately ashamed to be an American. I just, I don't know. I know I usually do the spiel where I say comment below or, or whatever. I'm just... This one was a little personal to me. So I do want to thank everybody for tuning in. And um, hopefully neither you or your loved ones have to suffer to GOP's latest antics.